It's a question that I'm asked, well, quite often. Should Christians really listen to secular music? And is it okay for Christians to, well, to play secular music? Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daly. It's a big issue. Music is such a huge part of our lives, if you're like me. I listen to a lot of it. And people say, well, Pastor Bob, do you actually listen to secular music? And the answer is absolutely yes, I do. How do you decide what kind of music you listen to? That's a very personal thing, isn't it? I always tell people that for me, I listen to music that match my lifestyle. It doesn't have to have the word Jesus and everything. Not everything in my life has the word Jesus in it. But I think I put music in the same category that I put a lot of other things. And when we look at the arts, we think everything has to, well, it has to have the word Jesus in it, which is not true. The arts ought to be expressive of our whole life. You know, when we look around, we look at musicians and we say, you have to be Christian and you have to say Christian things. But we don't have that same well, those same requirements for other people. My plumber doesn't have to be a Christian plumber. You know, my, um, my, my clerk at the grocery store that's checking me out doesn't have to be a clerk with Christian groceries. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? My waiter at the restaurant doesn't have to be a Christian waiter and talk about Jesus as he's, you know, going through my food. I think that we take this way out of proportion. And to be honest with you, I get really tired of predictable Christian music. And a lot of it is. There's, um, there's a way that it's written. There are certain phrases that are used over and over and over again that I'm tired of, by the way. And I don't think a lot of it's honest. I think it is extremely agenda-driven instead of being very creative. You know, I've often said that I think it's important that we actually live our lifestyle, that we live our lives in front of people, that, that they see what we're all about by how we act and react to different things. Um, if I were putting albums out these days, I'd write about a lot of things. I'd write about my frustrations. I'd write about my failures. I'd write about my successes. I'd write about my Lord. I'd write about a lot of things that, very honestly, uh, are all part of my life. And I would want to represent my life by saying, this is all of my life. These are all the things that I enjoy. My yard is right behind me. You see all of my ducks. I'd probably write some duck songs because that's one of the things I really enjoy. Is it a Christian enjoyment? Well, I guess God made the water, God made the lawn, God made the ducks. But you know what? It's just part of this world and part of one of those things that I enjoy a lot. Can I put a Christian tag on it? Not real easily. You see what I'm saying? So folks, I think we have to quit holding people who are uh, in the arts to a different standard. It's not. I think we really have to express ourselves and express ourselves honestly. And obviously part of that expression is our faith. But it's not all of it. And people need to not just hear about our faith. They need to watch our lifestyle. How we act and interact with those things that they go through too. I don't think people are looking for perfect Christians. I think they're looking for Christians with answers to all of life's dilemmas. Make sense? God bless you. Have a great day.